How much money do you think she made for that ad? <laughs> This a sniper wolf. Excuse me, peasant. It seems like you have violated the community guidelines, which means we will terminate your account. We will issue a warning. We will send you a strong worded email. We will do nothing. We will protect you. We will suck your toe. <laughs> And we're back with this, whatever this is, with more of this. Damn, could have tilted pro uh, proper frame uh, before. <sighs> That'll have to do. Do I have enough torso? Are you getting enough torso action here? That's a good question. I feel like these are all very important philosophical. Uh, we're a little top heavy here. Uh, come on, come on. There we go. Alrighty, that gives us some space here. To resume this, welcome back. How you doing? It's rhetorical, you can't. You can, I'm doing good. I can wave through the screen. Uh, Here's one last bro fist from the number one in the world. Welcome! Hope you're doing well. I'm doing all right. Busy, busy, but cool though, which is great. We're back here in our little shindig. I got my flop flips. These should be a little less clumpy than the but as for the squawking, the squeaking in the bag, I don't know what we're gonna do about that. <laughs> so I feel like uh, we could just resume. We could just get back into it. We could just, uh, we could just, we could just flaguzzle. Let's go, let's get it. Later on, Sniper Wolf herself would go on to say he was- Let's get the bread. Not on the registry anymore, but his name had been there when she'd originally looked him up two to three years prior to this. We already removed this, I didn't make this point, but it's funny how she's saying that. Earlier in the doc wasn't turkey time, he was kind of just saying, she was also, had there was a record, but there wasn't an actual, like, I guess, trial or something. They didn't actually, it didn't go anywhere. If we're using her logic, which I mean, why would you? You'd kind of just use whatever logic best benefits your emotional state, which is what she's doing, and what a lot of her fans do. Because it's feelings, right? You just fall in emotion. You could make the art, it's like, okay, you pointing that out, you can't find it anywhere. If, if that doesn't apply to you, then that wouldn't apply to this other guy as well. If your charges don't, didn't go anywhere for you, and that's the case for this guy, we're using that same exact argument, it doesn't work from where we're coming from her perspective. I do like Turkey Tom, which what I do like about your documentaries is you're not entirely unbiased. You actually do have a bit of a spine. <laughs> I don't like say bit of a, you have a spine. You're, you don't have all the necessary information to come to a legitimate valid conclusion that you could like settle on. So instead you just deduce based on the information that you came across for, you know, for both these people. Instead of just be like, oh, there's not enough to, you do say, oh, I don't want to touch it because it's kind of a hot, hot thing. But from what I gather, there isn't enough for these claims to be, you know, substantiated. Is that, a, am I using that word right? Provide evidence, yeah, okay. Which is good, I like that. I don't know. To me, that spells a degree of conviction on your part, Turkey Tom, which is good. I think in order to be critical, you kind of need to... <laughs> Someone like Keemstar presents the news as if it's like somewhat unbiased, but no, he's a, he's a disgusting person. But it's like, it's kind of impossible to report on these types of things without having some degree of bias. But you're both at least acknowledging it and acknowledging how you have a bias and you've only come across so much that gives you so much information to be able to come to to enough of a degree of a not really conclusion but yeah I guess conclusion right because once you run out of information not enough to get where you you know to a legitimate concrete conclusion you're sort of just saying okay this is where I'm landing based on the things that I've come across which is good and I everyone should definitely do that that's that's how it should work <laughs> So yes. Okay. It's like a mug. It's like the FBI or something. <laughs> Now it should be noted there is a chance Sniper Wolf isn't lying. Maybe she really did see him listed on the registry. Given the severity of the situation, I'd rather not cast any judgment because I can't seem to find any record of this guy. I can't seem to find any charges. I can't seem to find any criminal history whatsoever. So I'm inclined to believe that Enigma Hood may be telling the truth, but at the same time, it seems so insane to me that Sniper Wolf would just bold face lie about something that's so easy to fact check right away. Did I address that argument? Is it insane? I mean, it is insane through an ethical, like, 
If you're a little bit naive, it's insane. And it is insane through like an intelligent, logical perspective, which is where you're coming from, Turkey Tom. It's not so hard to understand when you look at people and you look at human behavior. How is it so insane that a bad person would lie about something and wouldn't look into anything on, to, to back up their lies? They can kind of just tell people stuff because they know that whoever, whatever they tell people is gonna hold way more weight than the actual facts or evidence. And even if they do come across facts and evidence, it's like they're, people are going to morph that in a way to validate their feelings. That's that. It's my belief that for some reason or another, she probably did believe he was on the registry at some point. While there had been a few videos made in defense of Enigma Hood, they were by and large a blip on the radar. For the most part, people were siding with Sniper Wolf, and there was no real measurable impact on her videos at all. Of course people. Ah! <laughs> Remember, it doesn't matter, okay, I don't know if I've said this before. It doesn't matter what the truth is. It, what matters more so is what people believe to be true because that's the thing that's enforceable. If you go back to the disgusting shit, fuck, you know, Salem witch trials, right? You have some lady in her house cooking a cauldron, some guy comes along, oh crap, I think that you're a witch. Whatever motivation I have for, for me to say this to other people and then boom, they come in and rip you out of your house do a trial surrounded by a bunch of disgusting, delusional animals, and they all sort of build their own ideas as to what you are. Ooh, kill him! Ooh, kill him! No, what, actually, what you actually are has no bearing on anything, has no bearing on how people are gonna react. It's just people are gonna go with what, what the general decree is, and they're going to follow through with that, and they're gonna enforce it, right, in the case of those women, or I don't know if it was exclusive, it's probably exclusive, I don't know if it was exclusively women. The point of this, of this is, they all believed it and they went to an extent of enforcing it to the point where you're dead now, right? You're in that position, people are throwing these ideas at you, there's nothing you could do other than fight to the death. Fire it up, boys. Otherwise, you're gonna get dragged into a, into a lake. Oh, if you drown, you're a person. If you float, we'll set you on fire. It's like you lose, lose. And there's nothing you can do. It's just because, and that's entire, the result of that, all of that is happening because you're just surrounded by a bunch of crappy humans. Crappy delusional humans who believe something in a certain time. And enough of them believe it to get together and uh, demolish you. Look up Emmett Till. Emmett Till was a 14-year-old boy who was abducted badly beaten and killed in Mississippi in August of 1955. While Till was in Mississippi, he was accused of whistling at a white woman. The woman told her husband Roy Bryant, who was enraged. Roy and his half-brother J.W. went looking for Till. Till's body was found three days later in the Tallahatchie River. Roy and J.W. stood trial for murder, but were found not guilty. A year later, the two men confessed to a magazine that they killed Emmett, but the case wasn't reopened. Decades later, Roy's wife admitted that Emmett never harassed her in the first place. I see that instance as a perfect reflection of America's priorities. It's disgusting. And that plays into what we're like, we were talking about. It's like, Sniper Wolf, she has enough people who she makes feel a certain way, and they're just going to do what she tells them. She's, they're going to take her word by gospel because of the feelings that, that she elicits from them. In the end, Enigma Hood attempted to sue Sniper Wolf for defamation. He even tried to sue Google and her network, Fullscreen, as well as her boyfriend, Evan Young. There are a lot of interesting aspects of this lawsuit, such as that no lawyer is listed, meaning that Enigma Hood wrote this all and filed it himself, and probably planned on representing himself in court. Ah, uh, and that makes it harder too. Especially when the person who's... Even if this person is making bad claims, it's like, I don't know if they quite possess the degree of competency to really combat something like that. It's like, what are you doing? You're trying to play into the court systems without having any... It's a game, dude. You gotta know how the rules work. The laws aren't designed for what's right and wrong. They're just designed based on whoever's in power, wherever, whenever, and what, what it is that they prioritize in life. It's not about proving or it's about convincing. Objection! Objection! But, and that is a fair reason to file a lawsuit, maybe? Just defamation? I guess it's a question of what the extent of damage it, uh, occurred within your life as a result. Whatever! Oh, although there's, I was gonna just move on from that, but there's a whole segment to this, so we're gonna get through this.